But first we gonna K Dot, J. Cole. Before Metro? we get things started, we're gonna talk on uh one of my favorite ever in the NFL. I used to watch him all the time when I was a youngster. Bro, you straight capping, you know what I'm saying? You straight capping. Watched him at A day. How? <laughs> you wasn't even born when you was playing, bro. You know what I'm saying? OJ Simpson, rest in peace to OJ. Rest you know? in peace to, to the legend. Rest in peace to the legend. Rest in peace to OJ. But how so. you gonna label him as your greatest, one of your greatest players all time Cause, ever? Man, he broke the all time season record, two thousand right. yards, 1973. 2,003 yards If y'all niggas Want to be exact I just want to let y'all know you This know nigga I mean? is reading Off a of screen <laughs> Russian title So You know what I'm saying <laughs> We not gonna get up title, there 1972 Act 1973 like he's a sports right. analyst He's reading <laughs> off a of screen I'm letting right, y'all know right. this now 23 touchdowns yeah. In 75 mm-hmm. Nah he probably know What he's talking about though But Mm-hmm. Six Pro Bowls. I don't know if you labeling him as your greatest player all the yeah, time because yeah, yeah. he nah, wasn't was even playing joking. during your season. I just see like a Barry Sanders, a Emmitt Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And if you say one of those, yeah, nah, you talking like, about 75. Right, cool. He wasn't even around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but um, first and foremost, you know, condolences to the family. Yeah, condolences on and both sides. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and all of that. A polarizing figure he is. I yeah, mean, especially from because honestly, what I mostly know him from is from the OJ case back. In uh in ninety four, yeah. like yeah. that, and I hated that case. I hated yeah. it. That's when my brother Junie just came home from college, Brown University. He went there for law, so he was an entertainment lawyer. And every day he would come home and watch the damn. Actually, he didn't because he wasn't even working full time then, or whatever lawyers do. Every day he would wake up and turn on the OJ trial from like eight in the morning to whenever it stopped. That was everybody for almost a oh, year. Yeah. That was everybody. That was, was everybody. That was the first reality series. I hated it though. I was twelve in nineteen ninety four. Yeah, you probably wasn't even interested. I, w- I was about to I say wasn't that. interested at, at all. Yeah, but that. So was, how could you hate it if yeah, you're not interested? Because he was taking up the TV the whole day. That was the whole world. I mean, those were just the major news channels. We only though, had right? one TV in the crib, but just think and he about took it. over that TV. Oh, you know how important that was, especially back in the day. We got devices now. That didn't have nothing to do with OJ, though. So. Yeah, but wait, yeah, he, think he, about he it. Yeah, I'm about to say that. That's what you talking yeah, about. Yeah, he took the TV, so <laughs> by way of the TV, that's the root of the hurt. That's the root of the hurt. That's the nah, root nah, of the nah, hurt. Nah, Let's nah. get to the yeah. root. At the end of the day, the root is you're supposed to be in school while this anyway, trial is on. Anyway. Now, actually, not. Nah, you know nah, what I'm nah, saying? Anyway. Now, Monday was going to about four or five o'clock. And you should have been in school. Yeah. So you think I was cutting eighty two? Yeah, do your. I know you was cutting. I was cutting JHS eighty two. I know you was cutting eighty two all the time. No. I didn't really start cutting time, until bro. I got to high school. Evander? Yeah. Mm. Cause that's when that's when, you know, the security guard, that's when Streets was like, yo, you know we could just leave, right? And I was like, no, we can't. And he was like, we could just walk streets. out, the guards won't chase us or nothing. Cause you know in junior high school they used to have the Wait, streets. That's you know. that's yeah. West. Yeah. Wow, I forgot that was his name. Shout out to you, West. Yeah, man. shout out to West. My bad, my yeah, bad. Man. I forgot that. Yo, yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, polarizing figure, man. Um, polarizing figure. Um, yeah, it's, back it's, on it's track. Still, it's still interesting, though, even after all of these years, how when you mentioned it, I we talked about it briefly in corporate the other day at, at the GZO. Mm-hmm. And uh, I could just see, as soon as the name was mentioned, the temperature changed. Oh, yeah. You know, everybody got the same alert the same time. Me and uh, the homegirl got it. And we was like, yo, OJ passed. But then when that came out, nobody said nothing. And it got quiet in the mm-hmm. office. So it's st- he's still a polarizing figure. Man, I'm asking a question. We know Diddy did it. Did OJ do it? Mm. You know what? And we're not going off of just the trial response. Because we know the trials, they acquitted him and said right. it wasn't him. Right, so right now. We talk technically about he didn't, things. but do you really think he did it or not? Now I now I think he did it. Over time, I started I started to see his mannerisms. And then he did that whole uh, documentary, uh, the book called If I Did Do It. Mm-hmm. Where he actually kind of telling all the pieces of the story, really. I don't mm-hmm. know if y'all ever saw that. I heard, I heard about it. It's, it's, it's interesting. Um, I but, don't think he did it. But be real. he he don't seem like to me, and this is the last piece. F- he don't seem like um, <laughs> when he talk about it. He don't seem like he's a kind of a person, or he don't give off that feeling like he's uh, remorseful about it at all. He almost talk about it in a joking way. So if he didn't do it, he would always say, "I ain't do it." He's almost like mocking it, basically. Yeah, what you're saying. It, yeah. So that's what kind of gave it away to me. But you know, we oh. was all cheering for it because that was 
for us, it was just like, okay, a black man gets, you know what I'm saying? We get we get a point off of that because they've been doing this wrong. And, man, and all I hate years. to say this, but you're wrong. I think around the time yeah, that... It's I think around the time that the trial was actually happening, they said, like, what was that? Um, The Rodney King joint was, like, yeah, had just really, like, died down. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. I want to say, like, black Americans needed a victory there. But was it a real victory? I don't know. Yeah. Um... I was actually talking to somebody in the Walmart, right? Hey, and he just ran down on me, like literally. He's an older white man. He's like, you know, OJ, da da da. This is before he passed away. And we was talking, he was like, and I'm wondering to myself, I'm thinking, like, why would you bring up OJ to me? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm a black man, you're a white man, da da da. So I didn't really want to play the race card. But then we got to talk, and then I walked away, right? But then I'm like, did he really do it? Mm. And then I just started thinking about the motions that some dudes could actually have with females. And I don't know if I'm 100% right. Yeah. So don't hold my word as bond. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. But the nigga could have probably been dealing with two chicks at the same time. Meaning the one that passed away and the side piece. Yeah. And a lot of niggas get emotional with their side piece. Then they want to leave their main bitch. Yeah. But then the side piece would be like, nigga, fuck you. I don't want you. Yeah. No more. I got another nigga. Yeah. So yeah. he could have went like literally ape shit. And I'm not taking nothing away from him and his passing. And I'm not trying to make joke of it. But I'm nah, I'm but... talking about shit that seriously mm-hmm. could happen. Yeah. Like he could have probably went crazy snap. Went to go apologize to his wife. And then saw her with another nigga. And yeah. then just snap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. But pussy is a hell of a drug is what I'm going to say. It, it is. It, yo, so you yeah, never you know can. what happened. Is he I'm, capable of doing it? Yeah. I mean, if we look at that scenario. Anybody's capable any, of doing anybody's it. Anybody's capable of doing that. Did OJ do it? it I'm going to go out on the limb and I'm going to say no, he didn't do it. I saw a documentary. Don't remember the name of it. But I saw a documentary some odd years ago about what actually happened in the case and about how, you know, certain things were happening in the case where they were proving on a day to day basis reasons why he didn't do it. But what was being broadcasted on the news, it made it look like the actual um, the the what do you call that? The prosecutors were winning. You know what mm. I'm saying? So I think O.J. didn't do it. Going out on a limb and I'm standing. I mean, legally, he didn't do it. He wasn't guilty. So that's what I would say to people that get like in real life. That yeah, in real life, right now, that get like um, that get mad about the whole thing and and Mm -hmm. try to and really try to shit on his name that he passed. Now that he passed, your legal system didn't find him guilty. So you you know what else is crazy though? Like, and I I don't even like mean to throw a shot, but like how your family came to see you on death's bed. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And the news is saying that they made them sign NDAs and no phones and none of that to be oh, yeah. near with father, uncle, cousin. You know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, I just found that kind of strange because Wait, sometimes you said they they made them sign NDAs. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah, wow. And I think, well, I think me and you was having this conversation before, and um, what do you mean? yeah, talking about relevancy of like OJ, like yeah. I didn't even realize this man was in jail for 10 years, bro. 13, I think. Like, that's crazy. For stealing his own stuff. For stealing his, for own, stealing his own stuff. Yeah. Yo, I remember, because um, my house was not, was right next to USC. USC is like a few blocks away from my house where I grew up in Cali. Mm-hmm. And at USC, before all of this happened, they have a whole room dedicated to him. His Heisman and everything is in the middle of the room. You walk in, it's dark and it has, you know, lights and pictures and trophies and shit in there. Right when that shit happened, like the next week, they got rid of that. Got rid of that shit. You know, and he was like, you know, can't front. He was one of the first ones with all the endorsements. He was like, he was like, he was like White America's prize at that time. Those Hertz commercials and all of that. You know, it's crazy. They do that shit to all of us, bro. Mm -hmm. They put us on a pedestal. A pedestal mm-hmm. so high mm-hmm. and then the first chance they get you know it's like the clown where you throw the the ball at and right. try to knock them off yeah that's what they do because yeah. Yeah. the same thing they did to him they doing the diddy mm. 